Lucky I didn't get rest. All right, so question for you about Rolo. Okay. Now, he's always been put on the fence. Or his uh, allegiance to Dragnar. And you know, once he went through the torture, he kind of figured he's on his brother's side. But you know, maybe not so much. Is that going in? He's always been on his other side. He's, you know, he's been, he's had things offered in his direction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's been, you know, he's been offered the dowry, the boat, the, okay. the fame, the forties. Everything's been thrown at him, and he's always stayed on his other side. But it's going to point now where they're both, they're both said they're going to be equal. They both raided and started to get the fame and fortune. The Ragnar's going to be out of the population for it. And I think it's going to be very close to the last day of the year. And he's going to be a great place to be. And um, you know, Jal Borg has a big um, part to play in you know, kind of feeding that desire and you know, having a part of you and a part of your brother. And I think that can only be sorted out between the brothers and mine. Unfortunately, it has to come back to the back of you. Um, it's going to have a massive amount of effect on the other characters that are in the category and the whole time for the world. And just people are going to die. But it almost seems like Ragnar kind of. I suspected this might happen all along because you had a, you know, initial, uh, the initial conversation with the girl who was surprised that Rolo ended up, you know, having the instead of So how is he going to handle it? Yeah, it's a real sibling rivalry. I think we've had it since we were little kids. And, um, yeah, the first few episodes were really come to head between us. I love the first two episodes. It's, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of conflict, especially between us. And, uh, when I think things are lovely, they're the same. And how did you feel about uh, stepping out on my request? I'm happy for my character. <laughs> no, um, I was in history books, you know. So, uh, but he wants more children, and maybe we can't have any more children. So, so. so. but he's gonna get it, right? He's gonna get it coming. She chose the wrong brother. <laughs> she calls it beat me up. I call it four. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a stupid question, which is not the stupid. All right, until I until you hear it. Uh, what's the difference between a Viking and a pirate, and who wins that fight? A Viking and a pirate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they lived in a completely different yeah. ancient history. Well, I told, you just but, um, told me there was no the word, stupid the word, question. The word Viking comes from, uh, come, you know, comes from to go to, to voyage, to go to the sea, so mm -hmm. the word Viking kind of means pirate as well. So um, there isn't really much difference, I suppose. The pirates is completely different. They live in better weather than <laughs> How much of the character is what Michael's created and what's in history and what creative aspects The equality you... is the same. Okay. <laughs> and what uh, creative aspects can you lend to the character acting wise? All actors had it's a job that a lot to the character. The, the scripts are brilliant and such a great base to start from. It's definitely up to the actors to bring a lot to it, otherwise just anybody will get to go. What characteristics of Ragnar specifically do you try to sneak in of you know, your own personality or your own interpretation? Um, I try to enjoy a lot of things in life that I enjoy that I probably shouldn't. And, uh, a lot of things that turn me on that probably shouldn't. <laughs> so I try to sneak that in. I sometimes just smile and it's like one of the best situations to smile. He always tries to be positive. He's always fighting and proactive about stuff. I have to ask, I've noticed on your hands you got a lot of screens. So is that from filming or are you getting into bar fights on your own? Uh, well, I better say filming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very clumsy. <laughs> The Ravens. Ravens. Are we going to find out more about that? I feel like they're the whole Ravens. Well, it's very... It's the thing with Odin. Well, Odin had two Ravens. So, uh, one of the gods, every time you see it, it's a... Like what I said today, the images of animals and that, uh, we think it's gods going around or... It's mad when you work on the show, the more you look around in just everyday life and you start to see things that happen. And if you are sitting on the somewhere and some great or a crow just comes up, you start to see it the way the pagans would have seen it and the Vikings would have seen it. It's looking at the moon and the way the clouds, it's, you suddenly find yourself losing yourself and that's something I've found since I've started doing this. You start to go, I understand how they would have read into different moments. Is it, is it just you looking back at you know, yourself in some of these eyes or is it, is it do they kind of, you know, you're vulnerable and you see it and you feel into it? 
Oh, he actually saw it in episode one briefly, yeah. And uh, the comic book is a backstory as well, so you read the comic book, if you're lucky enough to read the comic book, it's, it's a bit more of a book about the brother's relationship and the and having the father, you know, having the father, and having Wagner's the one who sees it, but Rollo doesn't, so Rollo is kind of in denial with the son of the father. I'm going to take that as a sign of kind of divine right to take charge. Uh, well, he, he thinks he's a direct uh, descendant from Odin. One of the gods, so uh, that uh, certainly boosts his ego. You know? There's a curiosity thing too. Odin was uh, so curious. What did he do? He, um, he lost an eye. To yeah, he lost an eye just to uh, to learn more. And he, um, actually killed himself. I feel like to try to see what the uh, death felt like. Obviously, the, the 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 physical part is 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 an attraction for for you guys, but is. Um, for these roles, portraying the the spiritual part of the Viking lifestyle and the culture, how how much of a challenge is that? Um, and <laughs> how much is a challenge to to to, per, to to do the spiritual part of of the culture and and to act that part and make it convincing? Well, it's it's different than any other job because you feel a responsibility to get it right to get it you know because you're, these are real people. This is a culture. You know, the Scandinavian people they take this they take this very seriously. I mean, you know, I'm from Britain and, and, I, and I feel that. But the, one of our actors, Torbjorn Haar, is a Norwegian actor, so it's been really nice to me when he joined the set and said that when he takes on a, a, a character that's a historical figure, he likes to imagine that it's a theatre show, they're, they're watching the auditorium, they're, they're behind the camera, they're actually there, and you have a responsibility to, to get them as, 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 as right as you can because they're watching it. And it's, you know, Indeed, you take it really seriously, do as much research as you can, and you, you know, try and get it right. That's, that's your job as an actor, you know, to do the best possible job you can do. What kind of reactions do you get from people who don't know you're on a bike? Do you feel like you're on your bike yourself? It is, it is it's a strange feeling for me, I, you know, because you know, I look very different to this world you know, before I got the job in Vikings, and I sometimes forget that I still look like this, and I walk down the street and I, I go to, you know, one, of the, one of the producers was asking me to kind of, uh, go into one of the, the really nice restaurants in Dublin and see if I could get a reservation for it. And I walked in and I wondered why the doorman were trying to usher me out, and they were physically pushing me out the door, and I had no idea why, like, it's a hell's angel walking into this you know, jacket only kind of you know, Mitchell style restaurant, so, so I forget to say. So are you shocked by the reaction that you're receiving here and and how is it impacting how you uh, how you think you're gonna approach everything going forward? Because now you know there's such a huge passionate fan base. It has an uh, Ed in Ireland, so that's a good thing. Nobody knows about it in Ireland. So. <laughs> they will. Yeah. They will. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to get a second season. season. Just, I've, I've been in shows that haven't been picked up for a second season before, and, 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 and you know it's all down to the fans. And when they watch and they like it, then you get a second season. So that's why I'm really happy because I've never had a job or two. So it's nice to be on that journey again. And hopefully, again, you know, they don't kill me or they don't die in the series. And, um, so, I'm just, so I'm just really happy. So that's, yeah, that's, it's great that people are watching it and they like it. It's the world that's going to it. And the crew in Ireland that gives them all the job from the world as well. Absolutely. Are you a little overwhelmed by the insanity of Comic Con? Yeah. Pretty entertaining. I'm a, bit of a, I'm a bit of a nerd at heart though. I don't understand why people say I'm a closet geek or I'm a closet nerd. It's like get out of the closet. It's great. It's a great it's a time great to be in there. Yeah. We have a seat. Let's get you sure. There you go. Yeah. 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 So then, what, what are you a nerd about? What, what's, your, what's your nerd? Yeah. Shit, this is a type nerd. It's right. I remember she the start. Um, no, I, I just, I, I love all this stuff, it's like I love, I love comics and superheroes and, and I love history, so, you know, all this kind of stuff. I, I wanted to get and see the Walking Dead panel, I wanted to go and see the Game of Thrones panel, I've been working with those, so I missed it all. So. You're a star now, you can just throw on anything. Yeah, but we've been craziest? working, we haven't stopped all right we've been doing press junkets and we've been doing our own stuff. So. What's the craziest expression of fandom that you've experienced? Yeah, I've been doing a few of the other ones, I love all that, I really do. Motion capture and good people. No, I've had weird ones in LA for years, and pineapples and all the way and chief that was like the hell that's been the one that's right. the coolest thing ever. Do you like girls like like fling themselves at you or do you like guys? I wouldn't like... be here if girls were fling themselves. Thanks guys. Okay guys, we're gonna move you right now. Thank you so much.